Hi, welcome back to another episode of The Corners TV. I'm Haley Sky with the Peachtree Corners Network. We're here with Jesse Kaufman at 10 Bistro. I named it 10 Bistro because my family had great like family recipes and I knew friends that had great recipes as well in their family and some people were just like chef wannabes. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to the 10 major subdivisions in this area, including my own Peachtree Station, and said, who's got recipes? tried to make the food kind of artsy too, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we focus a lot on how the plate looks coming out, so that's where I can have my creative outlet mm -hmm. is on um, the plate hitting the table. Now do you design the food plates yourself or is that something with you and the chef or well, how does I that do. work? There's nothing happens here that doesn't involve me and the food, but I do have um, a great chef that graduated the, uh, the Culinary Institute of America. Okay. Fortunately, she's been with me for about six years. Wow. So we're a good partnership. Yeah. I love that, that family feeling. It, it, again, it just brings everybody together and makes them feel at home. We have artists all over the walls uh, that are local, and it's just, it's a local thing. That's a wonderful way to bring the community together. So why did you decide to bring in art into well, your restaurant? You know, I got lucky. I think uh, you know, Manami came in here one day, and you know, she's all over the place. And she said, "Hey, can I put some of my things up?" And I was like, "What a great idea!" I came mm -hmm. here, and then seeing this happens. And then that's when Jesse asked her to paint the, the yeah. column inside the restaurant. Oh yes, and it's so beautiful too. I was so if surprised. It is, if it's little light there is no darkness and that kind of concept I want to share my light from the picture and they can hold it in their mind so as long as they have some light holding in the mind mm -hmm. you cannot get too dark it gives them hope. Yeah, yeah I love that thank you so much again Tommy and Manami I think that what makes this place interesting and unique is one um, is a feeling of connectivity with the neighborhood. About five years ago, I was at an art benefit, and Jessica came up to me and said, wow, I love your work. I have a restaurant. Come take a look. So I did, and um, I love the energy, and brought in some paintings, and he, they started selling. So it was a win-win for both of us. And how did it feel to see your art displayed in a restaurant? It was awesome because I loved the restaurant. I had a lot of friends come by and see my work here. Sure enough, now you have like Sophie McLean, Shrimp and Mango Salad, Wellington Lakes, which is the next neighborhood right over. And of course, several from my own Peachtree Station and Amber Fuel, which is right around the corner. And that gave people a feeling of like a grassroots kind of, this is my restaurant as well as, mm -hmm. of course, their restaurant as well as mine. Right. And, and I listen to them when they want me to bring, uh, for example, a menu item back, like Gina from Country Club of the South, um, was missing the fried green tomatoes. So she was hitting me over the head, oh, yeah. where are my fried green tomatoes? Mm -hmm. And now it says fried green tomatoes on the menu, Gina Knaus, Country Club of the South, because she made me bring them back. And that's sort of like the spirit of this restaurant. My name is Tara Campbell, and I'm a local artist here on Peachtree Corners. And I've been inspired by many local sites, like the Chattahoochee, Jones Bridge Park, and some, the old Simpson Wood Retreat Center that's now a Gwinnett County Park. Um, I'm I spend a lot of time in nature and it's the basis of why I paint. 